So, looking at Tesla here, uh, I think we have some big upside potential with Tesla if the market will let it be that way. And what I mean by that is overall market sentiment. As you can see, we broke out of the downtrend here, um, making making a move back to the upside. Sorry, coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Um, then if you notice here, we have the AEMA, the green line, about to do a bullish crossover of the 13MA. So if we go back, let's take a look at the 15 minute time frame. So we have a little bit of a gap up here overnight. So Friday, a little bit of a move up, and then this morning, a little bit of a move up as well. And we've got some resistance in this area here. So first we need to get over about the 775 area. And then we need to move over about the 785 area would be about your average here. So if we draw this out, I'd like to base my levels off of the low from Friday. Excuse me to Friday's high, and then if we draw our fib from the high to the low, let me get these numbers just right, so 759.70 and 720.53, I mean, we moved up to the 38.2 extension which is right around the 77, 75 resistance. And then we had a pull back to the 23.6. Um, I believe, to answer your question, if we get over 785 area, we will see 800 rather quickly. Um, it just continues. It's just a matter of the fact if the bulls want to maintain control, um, there is also a lot riding on that meeting today between Powell and Biden to see what's going to happen with that. I like Tesla's chart, though. I mean, you zoom out, we've kind of got this ugly, but formed, almost formed, cup and handle going on here. Looking at the four-hour time frame, And we've got a little bit, we had an inverse head and shoulders, and then we, we broke the neckline, and we popped back up, and you can't really see the resistance on the daily, that's why it's always important to look at the different time frames here. But yeah, the first thing I'd be looking is for a break over 775, and then I would probably go long on the $800 calls. Um, price target, the 100% extension would be 798.87. I mean, if this thing gets moving, we, we could easily see 8.825. Just depends on how the market wants to act today.
All right. Market's about to open in about 30 seconds, guys. Let's see what we can get going for today. Um, on SPY and QQQ, going to be waiting to the market net flow picks a direction, usually about 15 minutes to 30 minutes in. Um, we'll be waiting to see what Tesla wants to do. I also like Apple's chart and Baba. Uh, let's see what the market gives us. And we are open. Tesla over seven seventy five there before making any jumps and going into any position going to wait and see how these first five minute candles close um, these Tesla premiums that $800 call itself is $1,500 I will more than likely not be going with that with this small account challenge just had an alert pop off for Apple as well as AMD but when all these alerts go off like this back to back to back um, they may be false pumps pump fakes so let's wait and see how these candles close let's not rush into anything You can see here on Apple how we popped up and we broke this resistance level at 150. Then the sellers sold. There was a bunch of big sell orders sitting here at the 150 area and then the price was pushed back down. That's why you see this big long wick here. So there's basically a wall sitting there of orders to be filled. Um, we need all those orders to be filled to move up and progress higher. Same thing with AMD. If we come over here and look at AMD, we broke my um, trigger, which was AMD above 103.10. And immediately after we broke 103.10, you can see the price action was just pushed right back down. People just selling. Uh, I mean, super long wicks. So flipping back over to Apple, we've got the same thing going on here. And if we look at Tesla, same thing. Popped up. No confirmation here. If we would have entered this trade, it would have gone south fast. This is why it's always important to wait for confirmation on a trade. And as you can see, Tesla reversing. If I could quit lagging here. Apple about to reverse. The, the body of the candle has turned into nothing but a wick. And AMD full-on reversal mode. So... This is why it is very, very key to, to wait for confirmations on trades. Uh, I try to preach this enough um, so that you guys can understand what I'm talking about. Because even though it popped up and broke our trigger level, if we don't wait for the confirmation before entering, um, it could be a false breakout. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Uh, let's look at Baba here for the potential downside. So Baba is still floating up there. Uh, we're looking for a break under the, what did I set this as? How did I set an alert for this? I did not. So, Baba under about 90, we'll call it 96.75. Look at that full arm reversal from AMD. Woof. And looking at the market net flow here, um, right now calls are above puts. Um, the algo is positive. 
So the algo flow score is about a 5.07, 5.47, and our momentum is slightly positive. But like I said, within the first 10 to 15 minutes, um, it's kind of a little hazy. You will see the price action jump everywhere for the, the flow of the market. Um, and this is calculating the flow of the market compared with SPY. So it is comparing everything against SPY itself because SPY is used a lot of times for hedging. Let's see what else we got here. We'll go back to Baba. Apple, full on reversal. That first candle closed. And if we would have went long, if we would have, if we would have entered as soon as our trigger broke our 150 entry, um, we would have quickly gotten stopped out of this play with no confirmation. As you can see, the sellers pushed the price right back down. The candle went from a green candle to a red candle, and we made new lows. Um, if you look down here at my subgraph, this is the VIX. We can see that VIX has a little spike going on currently at 27.96. Yeah, from this price action here, where we got a little bit of a choppy open going on, I am going to hold off on anything to at least 15 minutes in. I just don't want to get into a position and get chopped out of it. I would like for a direct, a direct. I would like for, sorry, I had to mute something. I would like for the trend to be developed before entering an actual trade. Tesla premiums are just always so juiced. Um, if you have a good trend developed, I like playing Tesla for quick in and out grabs. I mean, right now the IV on, let's take for example, the 725 puts, which is about the low from Friday, or what we opened around. If we were gonna go that far out the money on the 725 puts, we're looking at almost 91% IV and just one contract, you're looking at about $1,150. Um, too rich for this small account challenge. So looking at the market net flow here, we can see that we might be having what's called a market cross, where the put line, the red line here, is going to cross over the call line, and in, which is an indication that we should see some downside. You can also see that the algo score, this green bar graph in the back, is shifting from positive and it's about to flip negative and the algo flow score is about to go into the negatives and our momentum has already shifted into the negatives. had a, a market cross rejection here and you can see that we almost had a cross and then the call flow popped right back up to the upside. The momentum shifted back positive and our algo flow quickly reversed as well. So this may, from this market net flow from what I can see, this may just be a premature sell-off 
and we may be seeing a reversal in price action here in a second. This tool is great. I use it every day, but sometimes it doesn't always work, but I'd say probably 75% of the time it does. Baba under 96.75. So let's wait for this candle to close. Three, two, one. I'm going to go with the Baba 95 puts. We're going to get two of these. If we can get in, trying to get a fill here. Okay, I'm in the Baba 95 puts at 215, two contracts. So we're up about 3%. Gonna be looking to scale here. If we get 15%, stop loss is negative 25%. So we have a big gap down area. Let's see if we close the gap. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take my fib and draw it from the first two candles to get my price targets here. So looking at about 95.70. VIX is spiking. The VIX is currently at 28.34. So Baba position currently down about 6%. That was a pretty violent candle down. I want to see how this plays out. If we look at our market net flow here, we almost had a market cross again. Our momentum did shift back to the negative side. Uh, we, need a, we need a market cross where the put line crosses above the call line and then our algo flips into the negative. Come on, give me this gap fill, Baba. Let's see. We have a big open area below. It's basically floating in thin air right now. Right now, contracts are pretty much break even. I thought I got in around 215. My entry price is 212.
stinks. Thought we were gonna get a faster gap field in this. We need to see how the VIX acts. for a play to work itself out but right now we're down about seven percent let's see if we get a rejection here off the AEMA You can see the VIX is dropping a little bit here. That's where the spike is coming from. Currently down 12%. Looks like we might be cutting this trade. What are we looking like on the three minute time frame here? Three minute, we've got a little bit of selling taking place off the 13 MA. Let's see if the price gets pushed back down by the sellers. Trade is currently down 15%. I might get a double top here off this three minute candle. Looking for a rejection. Overall choppy price action. Let's see what our 15 minute orb looks like. So this is our 15 minute orb range here. I can find for us. This trade's going a little slow. A 
as we can see here in Baba, the wick is getting longer. The sellers are pushing the price action back down. Right now on the market net flow, we ha still have calls above puts, but both are currently going up, which when both go up at the same time, it is a bit bullish. But um, when they're both moving in the same direction like that, it tends to lead to choppy price action. VIX at about 28.08. Just spilt coffee all over myself. go in here and draw our orbs looking at the 15 minute gonna set some alerts for breakouts Four ten twenty two and four thirteen ninety three. Set some alerts here on QQQ as well. The high of not the high of. The 15 minute orb is 309.35 and the low is 305.28. Shababa so Baba still chilling in this orb. We need to push down to new lows. Our the wick of this candle is getting bigger. So here might come some new lows here. Currently down 4% in that position. We still really haven't developed an overall trend. We are 23 minutes into market open. Um, the market net flow is kind of all over the place right this second. I mean, the bullish algo is increasing and the momentum is getting a little bit bigger, but the price action is going down. This Baba 95 put is back to break even. Come on, let's get a flush here. Give me a flush to a new low a day. We are going to start scaling this position. If we get there at 15%, I will sell one of the contracts. And then the next one, I will move my stop loss to my entry price on that first scale to if, if I end up getting stopped out of my second or further contracts, if I had more to break even and preserve the capital on the trade. Preserve your gains, capital, however you want to look at it. So we're looking for a flush here. We're either going to get a move down or we're going to have a double bottom play. Um, I 
everything's just kind of range bound right this second. So, whoops. We got our 15 minute orb here on Apple. And we've got our high and our low. So we can go ahead and set up some alerts here. 15026 would be the top of the orb and the bottom of the orb is 147.58. So we'll set up alerts and we'll wait for these to be broken. There's no sense of taking a trade when it's inside of this orb. Um, it'll just eat up your premiums. So Baba, we currently have a bear flag being built. Sometimes patterns don't always hold true. But if we take this and we draw it out, you can see that we have our flagpole here. You can see that we have a flag formation here. And typically in a bear flag, for those of you who don't know what it is, your price will tend to break lower out of the flag formation. kind of looks like, in my opinion, that the market is waiting for something um, and that what we are waiting for to me is when Biden and Powell meet to talk about inflation later today. Uh, like we look at Apple stagnant price action sitting inside the orb. Look at Spy sitting inside the orb. QQQ. IWM is pretty much the same thing. So, going to remain patient. Only in this one position for now. Two contracts. Let's see how it plays out. You can hear that, can you? Yeah, see this price action is just a little disgusting, if I may say so myself. We had this huge move up. We had this move up. Then we had this violent move down, and now we're just kind of bouncing back and forth right here. Kind of boring. The coffee and the B12. Uh, I'm a little bit more awake right now. I wish the market would give us some type of excitement. This type of price action makes me want to take a nap, go to sleep, especially after yesterday being out on the lake all day. I took my son out in the canoe for the first time. He tried to jump out of the boat straight into the water. Got super sunburnt. It's a good time. Good, good time. Yeah. Graham, this, this price action is just is just boring right this second. Um, everything I'm looking at on my other charts here that aren't visible to you guys. I mean, Apple, Wix Central, Spy, trying to make a move back up, but currently getting rejected at the AEMA. QQQ, same thing. Price moved up to the AEMA here. 
then it pulled back, wicked off. Tesla had a pretty nice move down, twenty-five dollar move. Um, if you had the money for those contracts, that would have been a, a pretty decent one. Big old rejection at the seventy-seven seventy-five level, moved back down to seven fifty. Um, currently consolidating at the seven fifty area. Let's see if this bear flag holds true on Baba. When price action is like this, it's just good not to force anything. Don't try to force any plays. Just sit and wait. Let the plays come to you. That, that's one of the biggest things about being a trader. You, you have to remain patient. Hurry up and wait, as they like to say. Positions currently down about 5%. Getting some more gray hair as we're waiting here. I want this to print. We got this big old gap here. Come on, print me, Baba. China, let's go. Let's go. Did everybody have a good Memorial Day? Everybody that's tuned in, hit the chat in Discord or hit the chat on the YouTube. Let me know what you guys do. You grill out, you go fishing, you go to the lake, you sleep. I mean, some people take the holidays just to catch up on sleep. I'm not hating on you. I love sleep myself. That's my wife's favorite thing to do. <laughs> so we're currently bouncing off the bottom of the ore of the low of day. We've got a new low of day on Baba now up about 2%. Gonna look to lock some profits at about 15%. So up about 4%, 5%. Come on, give me this gap down. And look at that. The power of Fibonacci. So our Fib is literally drawn from the high. That's the top of our Fib. And it's drawn to the low right here of the first two five-minute candles. And then if you look, we bounced perfectly off the 23.6 extension here. I mean, almost perfect to the cent. And if you look, there's nothing really here that we're bouncing off of because we're in a gap. So if somebody can explain anything besides a Fibonacci on why we're bouncing off that level, I am all ears. Water Park Mexican food. Those two don't sound like they go together there, bud. Water Park and Mexican food. Where at? Where'd you go? Give me this gap down. Currently up 6%. I'm going to go ahead and put a sell order in to take some profit off. I am going to set up a limit sale to sell one of these contracts at $2.50, which would be more than 15%, but that's what I've got my sell on order at. Right now, the contracts are sitting at about $2.30. Yeah, I had a couple friends that said they saw Top Gun. They really liked it. I heard something um, from Tom, is it Tom Cruise, that said that um, they asked him if he wanted to do a digital release on the movie um, the studio did, and he responded and said that he doesn't release, he only does movies for the big screen, that over his dead body he wouldn't be releasing anything that automatically goes to digital format, that they would have to wait or see it in theaters, or he, or he wouldn't be doing the movie. So... I'm going to go check it out. Me and the wife should have date night next weekend. QQQ breaking out below 305.28. It's breaking out of the orb. We're currently up 10% on this Baba position. Apple is also breaking out of the orb. Let's see if these levels hold. Baba gapping down. We're at the 38.2 extension, up 10%.
I'm going to change this sell on Baba from 250 to 240. That would be about 15, right around 15% or so. Right over. Let me look at this. Look at this price action, guys. We are perfectly bouncing off the 38.2 extension. And we're in the middle of a gap. I mean, what else do you need to see here? The, these fibs work wonders. This is indicator wise and helping you determine price action and levels that this is the only thing I, I'd use now. I, I will zoom out to the bigger time frames and I'll look at the hourly, the two hour, the four hour, the daily, and I'll draw major support and resistance areas. And a lot of times those line up directly with your fib levels. So looking for full gap closure here. QQQ. If we look here, QQQ broke out of the orb to the downside and the body of the candle did close below that level. And then we had a pop back up into that level and it currently wicked back down. So I think we're about to see lower on QQQ. Right now I am only on this Baba trade. So currently up 10%. Going to lock some profit at $2.40. If we get there, kind of want to try to stick to the rules. 15% start taking profit. So we did have a tradey flow alert just come through. Symbol BX, eight orders expiration September 16th for 1.82 million. It's eight puts for the 115 strike. Yeah, I'll take a look at that later. I only like playing the tradey flow on the big names. Never traded BX personally. Here we go, Baba going to new lows. We're at 238, up 12%. Come on, give me two more pennies. Give me two more pennies here. 237. Looks like we might not get it. Come on, let me get a fill. So looking at our market net flow here, um, calls currently dropping off. The algo is, is dropping and puts are curling up. So this is entailing me that we may see some more downside here in a second. So QQQ and SPY. SPY is breaking out of the orb. So 239 on them contracts. Give me one more penny. Come on.
Come on, let me lock in this profit. Let's go. Okay, spy is out of the orb and the body of the candle did close below. Full on bounce here on Baba. Greed got the best of me, was one penny off. Should have went ahead and changed my limit to get out of that. Going to remain patient here. Still up about 5%. Going to let the trade play out. Spy, I am going to... We're going to watch on Spy here. We're going to see how this current 5-minute candle closes. If we close out of the orb, I will be looking probably at the 408. Yeah, the 408 puts... Hell of a bounce on Baba. Should have locked in that profit. Look at that bounce. From 12% back down to break even. So that's what greed gets you. But trying to maintain everything and take profit at the 15% level, like I said, um, may have to adjust that rule even more and take some profit off at 10%. But I would like to get at least 15% out of a trade. Spy, we've got about another three minutes before this five minute candle closes. Let's look at QQQ here. QQQ is also out of the orb. Be right back. to adjust the air conditioning. It's getting really cold in here. Let's see if Spy can hold this. Or are we gonna go right back into the orb? Market net flow is still kind of garbage right now. We do have a head and shoulders formation showing on SPY on the one hour time frame from the price action from Friday intraday after market into right now. We're going to look for a neckline break. So I'm going to draw my fib of this last leg. I'm going to try to look for a pullback here to about the 50% retracement level or the 61.8 and then I'm going to load some puts to get a better risk to reward here. So let's see if we get a pullback to around the 50% retracement level off of this leg. So we got the head, we got the shoulder, we got the head, we got the other shoulder, we're looking for neckline break. So give me one more pop so I can load some puts. We're at the 38.2. Almost at the 50. There's 61.8 pullback right there, 408. So I'm going to buy two of the 408 puts at.
dollar ninety five. So right there, we're in two of the June 1st expiration 408 puts on SPY. Currently up about 2%, in at $1.90. percent Pulling back to the 78.6 now. If you wanted to average down, here would be your chance to average down. You guys see how the price action reacts to these FIB levels? I know I'm not the only one seeing this. So another way you could have taken this trade is you draw your fib from the high from here of this leg to the low scaling out. So you could have bought one put here, another put here, another put here, and another put here to bring your average down a little bit. And then you could have stopped above the 100% extension if you wanted to stop out of the trade. That is one way you can play it too. Let's see how these play out. If we look at the market net flow here, we can see that the calls just took a shift to the downside. So, looking for a market cross here. Once again, the put line crosses over the call line or the car line crosses over the put line. This price action is just choppy. All they're doing is eating premiums right now. Really should have locked in Baba. I'm mad at myself. I, I wanted that 15% and just because I held for, for one or two pennies of my limit sell price and didn't change my sell order, now instead of being up 12% on that position, I'm down 6%. So it's always very important to lock profit when you guys have it. Me included. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Is anybody else lagging really bad? Is it just me? Might be my internet, I don't know, but. So we're just gonna go full on rally mode on me, Spy. stop out of the spy position at negative 25 percent currently down 17 
Can I get a fill? Can't even stop out correctly, Weeble. You're lagging that bad. Stopped out at 26% on that spy position. Full on reversal. Yeah, I'm lagging pretty bad over here. Not sure what's going on. I'm supposedly got gig internet, but it runs like shit. Baba, same plan. Gets the negative 25%. Getting stopped out. I honestly don't really like this price action. We broke out of the orb and went right back into it. Microsoft, you say? Slay? Same thing on it. Looking at Microsoft. We look at the 15 minute. We draw our orb. Mark the high and the low. And we're just bouncing in the orb. We are bull flagging right here, but that's about it. Sorry, I got a text message. Disgusting price action today overall. Currently down 6% on the account challenge for today. Not where I wanted to be. One step forward, two steps back. Got to get this momentum back going. Probably going to have to adjust the rules a little bit more. Take some profit off at starting at 10%. Lock in small gains. Compound them small gains into bigger gains. First, we started at 25% and we missed out on some profits and gave some back. Then I switched it to 15%. Now I think I'm going to go down to 10%. Um, and watch and see what happens with that. Overall, market, we're just, we're just chopping right now. Spy, we had a nice push up. Now we're pushing back down. QQQ, same thing. 
Tesla, we did break lower from 750 all the way down to 735. If you would have rode that all the way down, that would have paid heavily. That was like a $60 move there. GME sold out pretty big. We went from 139 all the way down to 120. That's a $19 drop. But what is the IV on those contracts? IV on them on GME contracts is about 250 on average. I mean that's just through the roof. The the prices of those contracts are just so inflated. So let's do some Fibonacci here and look at Baba. So if we draw from the high of the day to the low of the day, we can see that we retraced right around to the 38.2. That's from the high to the low. Then if we, if instead, if we draw it for the leg, so we draw it from the high here to the low, you can see we pulled back right around the 61.8 retracement level. It's not exact, but this does give you an indication of where you might see some type of price reversal or bounce or things of those nature. Yes, yes, Philip Baba is going extremely slow. This price action for everything is just disgusting right now. And if you if we do take a trade and you guys get up on that trade, you know, 5, 10, 15%, however much the trade gets up, please don't wait for me to tell you to sell. If you're happy with the profits or you see the price start changing a little bit, get, get out of the trade. Take your profits and run with them and, and come back for the next one. So looking, looking at everything here. So we're going to look at Apple. We're back in the orb. Microsoft, we're in the orb. Spy, we're in the orb. QQQ, we're in the orb. Um, Tesla is really the only thing that's pretty much out of the orb. So if we remove these and... We draw our 15 minute candle here. It's trying to get back into the orb. So, how much is a Tesla $700 put just for $880? That, that's too much for this small account. And that would be a YOLO gambling play. So we're not going to go with that. Just was curious on that. But right now, until we pick a direction with everything bouncing around in the orbs like they are, just going to stay in this Baba play and see how it plays out. So I still have a limit sell in for two dollars and forty cents. So those contracts that I'm in at two dollars and twelve cents, I missed the sell literally by like one or two pennies. So let's watch and see the market net flow. Looking, the calls just fell off of a cliff. The algo flow went negative as did the momentum, but now they are crossing again. So it might be a rejection. So let's see how it plays out here. VIX is also dropping. Um, looking at VIX on the one hour. VIX is kind of in Gap Central here. Let me look at it from a regular chart. Yeah, 
VIX has this big gap down all the way to 25, so we probably might see a rally here. Let's see what happens. And market cross again. Baba currently down 17%. This is just choppy, choppy price action. I mean, I'll go over a chart here while we're waiting. So if we look at Apple, I mean, this this is an indication of how choppy it is. Look at all these wicks. There is no definitive moves anywhere. It It, it is wick central. I mean, the price tried to move back up, wick back down, wick back up, wick back down. So what do we have? A one, two, three, a three top there. Then we broke to new lows. Now we're basically at that same same um, resistance area here and market net flow is just all over the place momentum about to shift back positive the algo shifted back positive um, our current gex levels if i can get it to work come on Four fifteen to the upside and four oh seven fifty to the downside are our current GEX levels, so we will probably bounce in between those. day so far. Baba is showing us a inverse head and shoulders here. So we have a shoulder, we have a head, we have another shoulder. Typically if this holds true we should see a break to the upside. So keeping it a tight watch on this we'll be stopping out at negative 25 percent if we get there currently down about 14 percent but that is part of the reason i don't always trade symbols because they don't always hold true it's about 50 50 whether they do or not so now looking at our market net flow both calls and puts are going down Just a bunch of indecision going on. Like I said, I feel overall that the market is waiting for something. That something being talking about inflation with Papa Pal. Whether he wants to turn on the money printer today or he wants everything to bleed. Uh, Biden can simply tell him to give us a play on words like they have been doing. Uh, all speculation here, but play on words meaning words like transitory and things like that where they're beating around the bush and they keep pushing everything back and back and back so the end of the year in my opinion is just going to be absolutely horrible because everything is going to come to basically a brick wall and we're going to be out of time to try to curb this issue and then the end of the year everything is just going to skyrocket and probably crash um, like I said, that's just speculation, but that's how I feel what we're going to run into here soon. Because they just, they, they keep sugarcoating the problem instead of just dealing with it. Put it out there on Front Street, let the market sell off, and let's start rebuilding instead of just tooting our own horn.
Literally everything we're looking at, though, I'll go back through these charts here. So Apple, we're back in the orb, inverse head and shoulders. Microsoft, in the orb. Tesla, in the orb. Spy. QQQ. Baba. Everything's in the orb. So when we're range bound like this, bouncing between a defined opening range of a high and a low for a set time period, which right now I'm using the 15 minutes, it's good just to stay out of positions and don't enter anything until we pick a direction. Am I still lagging, guys? Gonna open up Thinkorswim and hit hit the scanners real quick. See if we can pick up anything. Cause everything mega cap wise is just range bound and it's just disgusting. Makes me want to turn off the computer, go outside. So we've got some MRO contracts that are up about three hundred percent. So let's take a look at MRO here. Marathon Oil. Mm, this is just another range bound play. So mark the high of the first 15 minute, the low of the first 15 minute. Then we draw our orb range, which is the high and the low. And we're just sitting in the orb like everything else. Um, Baba. Looks to be moving up a little bit. Currently down 18%. You've got some Beto calls up a couple hundred percent. Beto is the Bitcoin ETF. So, but it is also inside the orb. So, this is just boring price action. Net flow still all over the place. Both violently moving down calls and puts both below zero. So the premiums on calls and puts are both a negative. Does anybody have any information on when Biden and Powell are supposed to be speaking or talking? Or whenever it is, is it going to be televised? Is it going to be behind closed doors or what the deal is? I really can't find any information on it anywhere.
probably about to go make some more coffee here in a second. An espresso. A lot of times you don't want to get up because you feel like you're going to miss something, but we ain't really missing anything right now. We're just bouncing in these ranges. I don't. It doesn't even feel like retail's even trading anything. It's just like the algos are trading each other and everybody else is sitting on the sidelines waiting. Net flow, nice pop on calls there. Baba down nineteen percent. Now I'm lagging again really bad. Now what the hell's going on? Uh, might just go take a nap. And now, looking at market net flow, you can see that we've got puts coming back up and that call pop is turning back down. So, chop, chop. Gonna make some more coffee. I'll be back, guys.
All right, I'm back. Looks like I didn't miss anything at all. <sighs> we have Algo on Market Netflow popping up on the calls. Puts going down even farther. Algo is positive. And momentum is positive. But yet we're still range bound, not moving anywhere. Let me see if I can find any information on Biden and Powell meeting. Says the meeting is scheduled for one fifteen PM. But I'm not finding any information on whether it's going to be a public meeting where they're talking in front of the public or whether it's going to be behind closed doors. So, honestly, I believe the market's probably just going to chop up until this meeting because now we're approaching 11 o'clock and we haven't really moved anywhere. Lost a little bit of money, that's about it, but as far as price action and the overall market, all I'm seeing on everything is wicks, wicks, wicks. There is no definitive movement in either direction. It's just disgusting. Really, the only thing up, looking at my scanner here, is MRO, Beto, Oxy, excuse me, and that's about it. Real close to getting stopped out on Baba here. You know, you could hold with the hopium that what they talk about at this meeting is going to be bad and they're going to raise rates sooner and the market's going to sell off, but that's no way to trade. 
you got to have risk management in place. Um, currently down on the day about 7.8% on my account challenge. Balance is 22.86. So not looking too good as of now. So 22% down on BABA. We might get a double top here. Let me just see how this candle closes. If we break above this high, we're down 23. Twenty four percent. And trying to get out here. I sold those contracts, got out at $1.60. You can see I stopped out here on the SPY 408 puts at 26.36, or 26% down, and I stopped out here on the BABA 95s at down 24%. So that's two trades today. I'm down about $200 on the day, about 8% on this account challenge. And... Honestly, I just don't like any of this price action, so I'm probably going to go ahead and stop this stream and wait till later today and just sit back and watch the price action to see if we get any definitive move in an uptrend or downtrend. Um, but I don't want to risk giving back any of this money, hopping in plays that are just going to quickly reverse because of this choppy price action. So if you guys haven't, please subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit the Twitter, hit the YouTube, subscribe, check out the Discord. Um, we'll probably be back 